BT Engineering's Dino clamp stabilizing profile. Uh, these are the spandrel boards. NHBC have got some regulations that we have to adhere to. We have to put a 450 damp behind the felt, as you can see on the diagram, and a double set of wall ties. Uh, it's no big problem, but it's got to be done. We can dip in here. Not really going warp speed, but it's a decent pace. We like to get all the bulk in and then do the cuts after. Uh, we've tried it where we do the cuts at the same time, but I think it's well, we've found it's better to do all the bulk. If you see a little brick on the right, middle right, that brick is going to get taken out so we can rod the cavity, so to speak. Uh, just in case you're wondering what that sticking out brick was. Okay, these are my favourite tool in the world, the Gable Profiles, 20 quid off eBay, use them so much. So we're going to be picking and dipping all the angles. Uh, I think it's bound to be quicker because there's less motions, but I guess it doesn't look quite as tidy, but it's definitely quicker. Yeah, it's quite a good way of chopping these bricks just to mark the front and then bash the back. Oh yeah, this little cut here, I'm thinking it might go in there, but obviously not. But it's going to come in on the next one. And that's the off cut. When these bricks go to the factory to be cut, you get one big one and one small one. And then on this 30 degree pitch uh, roof, you end up with four big ones and then two small ones. So it's pretty easy to work out the routine. And then a the little one comes in. Yeah, I've started to pick and dip the engineering's now, the oversailers, uh, because if you've ever tried to spread uphill or downhill, it kind of wants to slide. Not too bad on the 30 degree pitch, but on the 45 degree pitches, it does it does slide. I find picking and dipping is probably the quickest way of getting your reds in. I check them for plump every four or five bricks. As you get higher, they want to tip over. So, probably don't need to, but might as well keep it tidy. Out of the way, Steve. <laughs> oh, nearly a feature brick. Second course is a bit easier because you've got a brick below to work to. They can dip in again. I love it. I don't know why I've got my bricks stacked there. <laughs> Goodness knows why. Loving the stands. They're ideal. You can kind of, if you look down the cavity there, you can see those wall ties I was talking about. Double course of wall ties up the angle. Uh, the inspector's all over that. Quite easy to forget them. So yeah, once these reds are in, then we'll give the scaffolders a shout, get a table lift. Uh, we've got the other side to start while we're waiting for the table lift. Uh, and then Andrew will load some bricks up and we'll get back on it. Pretty small top, so 
probably have one each. I'll do this one and then Steve will do the, the next one. If sometimes if they're a bit bigger, we get both of us up there. But it is a bit cramped sometimes. Motors on the stiffer side, which is probably good for the engineering. I wish I could play that fast. Joints are pretty full. Not having to add in too much really. Now and again. I always pull up on that on the bottom course of reds, I always pull upwards. It's quite easy to pull the motor out of the joint. You notice I've left all the squeeze out on on the underside of the bottom course of reds. Uh, that's because I use the edge of my jointer. I know it sounds a bit weird, but it, if I cut it off, I end up having to add loads in. So I'll just leave it on. And it pushes in so nice. And I know we're up high, but it's still got a top and tail. They're pride in the job, topping and tailing. Soft brush would do just as good a job. A sponge. I don't usually work this way, this is usually Steve's end, but... Look at me back, oh, that's the right hunchback. That's what you get from 25 years of brick, it's pretty laying. Bend your knees, lads. <laughs> Getting nice full perps there, nice full cross joints. Just put do all my cuts uh, and then just picking and dipping the lot, the whole thing. Obviously, I've taken my profiles down now, so there's no line, so it's all level work and eye work. I've just put the technical guide, guidance there again because at this point, as soon as I've finished, we're going to get the inspector up. Uh, he wants to come up and he wants to have a look at the ties and the damp so, and, the, and the fire socks. So it's a case of rattling the wall ties, putting the socks in and cleaning the damp. But there's the NHBC technical information if anyone wants to, see, to use it. Not too sure if pick and dip's been quicker. I think it I think it's been a little bit quicker. Hard to tell. I think it looks slower because there's less less motions. It just kind of looks slow, but then when you put the clock against it, more often than not, it's quicker. Even on detail work. range it through with the level.
job done. Yeah, the best bit about doing top outs is the view. Gotta love site work. That's it, scaffold's down. Job done. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.